What's up YouTube, it's Danny with Swamp Stomp. Today I'm gonna be talking about trail cameras, uh, specifically the Wing Home trail camera. This company reached out to us and they would like for us to do an honest review. Full disclosure, we are not um, sponsored by this company, so we're gonna tell you the good, the bad, and the ugly about these cameras. That is a big deer. And he didn't go 30 yards. Oh my God. <laughs> that was the first buck I've ever shot. Woo, what a rush. Money, that deer is dead. Tagged out, baby. You shot one? Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. I saw him go what? down. If you haven't already please make sure you go down to the description and check out our giveaway for this quarter we're actually giving away a tether setup I'm gonna give you a, a saddle and a platform of your choice um, from tether and uh, pretty much it's gonna be everything that you need to get up into the saddle um, all you need to do for yourself is fi figure out your climbing method so big thanks to tether for teaming up with us for this and also I also want to give a big thanks to all of our uh, patreon members you guys rock you are the reason that we're able to do all these really cool giveaways. If you've been following us for a while, we started off with some pretty small giveaways and over the years, we've been bumping them up and it's all because of the support from you guys. Also, if you wanna save a little bit of money and support us, um, check out some of the links, that, the links that we have down in the description. If you go through those links and you purchase something, we do get a little bit of kickback. Um, it's not a whole lot, but every little bit counts. And um, yeah, all right, I'll let you guys continue this video primarily hunt um, public land and a lot of times we run a lot of inexpensive cameras such as the uh, Tasco uh, 8 or I think it's an 8 or a 6 megapixel Tascos these retail for about 30 bucks sometimes you can find them on clearance for a little less than that but um, they don't always give you the best quality picture sometimes you have to like kind of guess you know is it, is it a buck is it a doe um, and you can't really get a specific count on the points if the uh, the deer is actually moving with that said uh, they do um, give you a kind of a good idea of if you have bucks in the area and stuff like that um, sometimes if the deer isn't moving you get decent quality pictures enough to be able to identify the the buck or doe um, hogs or turkey or whatever the case may be but um, the reason we're getting these inexpensive cameras is because you know a lot of times on public land you don't always get your stuff back um, we've since adopted a method of actually putting our cameras up high in the trees so that people don't see them and even if they do see them they if they don't have a step or something to be able to reach it they're not able to get them and since we've been doing that we've had really good luck with um, people not stealing our cameras we figured you know Let's give this thing a whirl and um, let's see if buying a little bit more of an expensive camera makes all that difference. Now, when I say expensive, I'm not talking about a $200 camera. This thing retails right now for $80. So you can get on, on Amazon for 80 bucks and it's a uh, 16 megapixel um, camera. It also does 1080p for uh, recording and HD. And you can also do uh, 720 with it as well. So if you want to save some battery um, and a little bit less data on your card, then you can go with the 720. Another really cool feature about this camera is that it'll do um, video and pictures at the same time. That's a, that's a really cool feature because if you want to see which way the animals are coming from and going, that's, uh, that's always really good to have some sort of video. Um, you can also change the video length and um, things from like five minutes to, I mean, not five minutes, excuse me. You can change it from five seconds to 30 seconds. Um, it also has a very wide angle um, photo. It's about 100 degrees, which is pretty amazing. And this particular spot that I put it, you can actually see both sides of the trail and that is awesome because um, with these cameras 
they don't do that you're only getting a smaller picture a smaller picture window so the the wide angle is very nice also the nighttime um, capabilities the night vision on this thing is okay you'll be able to see that you do have an animal there in some cases if the animal isn't moving you'll be able to get a relatively clear picture um, with the uh, Tasco but it is nowhere near as good as uh, picture quality as you get with this um, all right so once you um, get the camera I'm gonna go ahead and open it up here comes nicely wrapped up from plastic this is what it looks like it's not it's a little bit smaller than the uh, Tasco not by a whole lot and uh, a wee bit they're about the same width this thing's uh, you also get a couple manuals in here you got a quick start manual set that to the side you got your strap tree strap and you have a uh, USB plug so once you open up your camera right here on the left side you have your off setup and on and then you have an up button down button left and right and then you have an OK button in the middle and then your menu button over here on the right so if you go into setup You can scroll right through here. There's no card in the in the, uh, the camera right now, but you see that you hit the menu button, and you can scroll through all the different features. So this thing has a whole lot of uh, ways that you can set it up. As you can see, you go here. You can go to photo, video, pick and video. You can do a multi shot, depending on how many shots you want to take, all the way up to five shots, five pictures. You can change your image size from 5, 8, 12, and 16 megapixels. For your video size, you can go from VGA 480p, HD 720, and FDH 1080p. A lot of options there. And then you have your video, video length. You can go from 5 seconds all the way up. You can go all the way up to a minute long video. That's incredible. And then your light mode, you can change your range. So if you want um, balanced, minimum blur, no blur at all, or maximum range. So that'll turn on the LEDs even brighter. The infrared. You can change your flash LED from high to low set up a camera name and then if you go to you know to hit go back you hit the menu button and then you can change the PIR now PIR is basically the um, motion sensor switch you can change the uh, you can turn it on or off you can change the sensitivity high medium low which is really nice so if you're actually in an area that has potential to get a lot of wind pictures or other moving items you can change that to low so that way you're not blowing out your SD card by a million um, wind pictures and then you have a delay and then you can even do you can even do time lapse if you wanted to you can set up work times for your uh, like if you don't want to have the sensor and you basically just want it to come on and off at certain times like if you have a feeder at a certain spot that you want it to uh, turn on during that feeding time you can do that as well and then you have other settings here for your SD card now I don't have an SD card in here obviously so we won't be doing that then once you turn it on it'll start counting down
I'm gonna go ahead and get this one set up. We're gonna put it in a tree and uh, we're gonna give these things about, I don't know, something like three to four weeks um, in a spot that we know we're gonna have constant um, movement. So there you have it. That's uh, I think those those pictures speak for themselves. I think uh, it's definitely worth spending a little bit of extra money to get a better quality picture. Um, those videos are just spectacular. You can see very clear what um, what the animals are doing, where they're coming from, and with that wide range, you really do get a good perspective of um, the direction that they were heading and and like I said, coming from. Um, also the nighttime pictures the, the quality of those nighttime pictures and video is insane in comparison to what we're seeing with these guys um, so for an extra fifty dollars it's in my personal opinion I think is definitely worth it um, you're not gonna break the bank by uh, buying a few of these and also you're, you're not getting you know you're not buying a hundred and thirty dollar hundred and forty dollar camera um, for a mere fifty dollars you can um, get really good video and uh, really good sound quality as well I was really surprised um, when those turkeys were there of all the sounds that you can hear that they're doing uh, that that really helps you much but you know it, it's it's a cool um, little feature that you have um, I think some of the biggest uh, things that I like about this camera versus um, this one is the, the trigger if you notice in some of those uh, pictures the animal as they're coming through they're like right in the middle of the screen whereas um, with the Tasco sometimes you're getting the back end of them or you're you're getting just right at the front whereas with the uh, the wing home you're actually getting the, the animal nearly in the center and I think a lot of that has to do with um, the wide angle because even if the animal is like off to the right you're still going to more likely get the whole body of it um, now we didn't have any pictures of any deers running through so unfortunately we couldn't show you that but um, let us know what you think about these cameras and uh, down in the comments and if you have any questions about it feel free to to um, send us a question down there as well or you can message us on our uh, Instagram or uh, Facebook page we try to get back to you guys as soon as possible um, something that I didn't mention earlier about this is that you do have a threaded spot down here where you, if you wanted to put the camera like on a um, like on a post or something like that and you also have an outlet for a 12 volt PDC in the event that you want to have a power backup like a uh, 12 volt with a um, solar panel or something like that I can imagine somebody using that more like on a private property or something of that aspect um, so as promised the good the bad and the ugly so something that I'm really not um, crazy about is the uh, the battery tray um, I don't like that the batteries are the battery tray is not removable because um, for example whenever we go out and check cameras we generally leave them in the same area and what we'll do is we'll we'll just be able to pop the battery tray out 
pop those batteries out, put new ones, fresh ones in, and put them um, back in the camera. Now, being that we put these cameras up high, um, it's nice to be able to slide that battery tray out and do that down at ground level. In this case, um, you can't. So you have to open up the camera and then pop pop the batteries out and then uh, pop the new ones back in. And secondly, you have this little thing up here. It, it kind of holds the batteries in, but it's it makes a little bit of a pain because um, you got to slide in the top battery first and then slide in the bat the bottom one. So that, that creates a little bit of a challenge when you're setting them up high. Obviously, if you're down on the ground, you can literally just pull the camera off the tree and put it back on. Um, maybe that's something that they'll change here in the in the future. I don't know. Also, you don't want to have your smell all over the camera. So the least contact that you make with the camera, it, the better. Um, so that's something that we really like about these these Tascos. Whenever you're gonna get the battery tray out, you just hit this little button down here. You got your batteries, and then you can work on it on the floor. Put your new batteries in. Pop it back in. All right, so that's the bad. So some of the things that I really do like is all of the features that you get with this camera. Um, just being able to change the sensitivity on it is a really big deal because sometimes you don't have that option of actually putting the camera somewhere that it's not going to get a bunch of wind pictures. Um, so it's nice to be able to switch that up and make sure that you're, you know you're not going to get blown out with wind pictures. Um, also, the, the ability to change the brightness on your night vision is really a big deal because um, I've had situations where I'm setting up a camera and it's kind of a tighter spot. It's like, you, you know, if you're on a game trail that's a little bit tight, then you don't want it to be that bright because what ends up happening is you blow out the, the actual picture. It's, it turn, ends up being really white um, because it, uh, the IR actually reflects on all the stuff around you. So that, that's a really nice feature that this thing has. And um, the picture quality. Changing the picture size and quality, um, having that ability to, to do that is uh, really a big deal. So for the extra money that you're going to pay for this camera, um, you really get a whole lot. I think you get a big bang for your buck. So if you're, if you're looking at um, for a camera that does everything that you need it to do, um, for public land hunting or even some private land take a look at wing home an m630 camera is definitely a um an option that you may want to consider and um yep check them out and use that coupon code and uh, get yourself a little bit of a discount on it so um thanks for checking out this video guys we really appreciate you if you liked it please give us a thumbs up and if you haven't already please subscribe and uh, make sure you go check out our giveaway and you guys be safe this hunting season and uh, you know just do everything you can to, to not leave anything to chance take care